You see, Jesus is about relationships and not religion. And that's really important to get. The Romans, it's fascinating that in those early church days, the Romans actually considered Christians to be atheists. Because they looked around and they said, where are your temples, where are your sacrifices, and where are your priests? Because religious people need a temple, they need a priest, they need sacrifices, they need to show ways in which they're trying to reach to God. And those early believers had none of that because they knew what Jesus Christ had done for them. They knew that Christ had reconciled God to them and that they didn't need to do any of those works to have God love them. That's why Jesus sits down at the right hand side of God the Father because he completes his work. He has brought God's rule and God's law to the people and he has bridged the gap. And so that's the good news that we celebrate. That Jesus did not come to bring another religion. He came to bring relationship so that we might know God. And I want to look at that again because if you look at the very end of Hebrews chapter 8, verses 11 and 12, where, where the preacher is quoting from Jeremiah 31, we read this, and this is relational language. No longer will they teach their neighbor or say to one another, know the Lord. And I want to focus on these three things. Because they will all know me from the least of them to the greatest. I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. They will all know me. Because God is saying this new covenant, it's about relationship. They will all know me. Not only will they all know me, from the least to the greatest. You see, in God's economy, in God's kingdom, we are all one. From the least to the greatest. There is no room for racial divide, for discord. We are all in Christ, from the least to the greatest.